Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Zombie Bites Theater. Uh, this It is spooky season. It is here. It is among us. And so we are celebrating with a mini movie ther marathon where we are watching a, a scary short every weekday of the month. And we hope that you're playing along. And if you are, we want to know what you thought of them. Maybe you loved it. Maybe you hated it. Maybe now you hate us. I don't know. We're not going to know unless you say it in the comments. <laughs> so leave it in the comments below. <laughs> All right. Enough of my rambling. Ariel, what are we watching today? So today we're watching The Lonesome Thing from 2017. You can find this one on YouTube. And it was written and directed by Danny Donahue. He has directed more than a dozen short films, a lot of which are horror. And he directed three episodes of the horror TV miniseries, Soot. Has anybody seen Soot? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm just curious because if it's good, I want to see it. Right? <laughs> yeah. That wasn't like shade. That was like, hey, do I need to be watching this? Right. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I can craft a scare, but we'll get into it. We'll get into it. All right. Uh, give us the synopsis, Sarah. A man tries to convince an entity living in his closet to leave. Mm. Metaphors abound. Matilda, <laughs> what did you think of the lonesome thing? So I really liked this one. This one packs so much tension into two minutes. Um, and the way that it does that is that it's just got so much space. Like it just lingers so much in quiet. Um, and it shows how effective, how like seriously effective that is. We have maybe half a second of seeing something terrifying. But other than that, it's just like that shot into the empty closet is going to haunt me when yeah. I go to bed tonight and look in the dark <laughs> closet in my room. <laughs> I might need well, a sleepover in there tonight. with claws and teeth. Yeah. <laughs> and its and name face. is Fester. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Her cat. Okay. Uh Sarah, what did you think? I really enjoyed this one. It, it built up tension nicely. You you know, you you do start for a moment to think that maybe the 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 guy's crazy and then like you said you see the like that split second of the thing and you're like, "Oh shit." You know, it's like, yeah, I'd want that out of my house too. But, yeah. you know, it I, I kind of leaves me wondering, it, okay, well, it left the house, but at what cost? Like where else it's going? Yeah. Your closet next, Sarah. Mwah. I sleep with the doors closed. <laughs> well, for now, mwah. I don't just want to do evil laughs. I don't know. How about you, Ariel? What did you think of the loon something? Do you think yeah, maybe I mean, that's what's living in your walls? Oh my god. <laughs> I think we know it. where it went, Sarah. It's pizza and ghost. It white claws and, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and then moved out. Yeah, I mean, I thought this one was good. It, like you said, it packs a punch and it kind of reminded me of the one that we watched on Monday, the Bloody Mary, where it's very short, but it really uh, creeps you out. <laughs> I mean, him looking at that closet and talking to it is really creepy. Him tossing in that sheet and then having something appear under the sheet. And it's only for like a split second. But I don't know, those split seconds where you see kind of a face um, really gets under my skin. So I like this one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a perfectly crafted jump scare and one that's earned because it's like, because of that buildup of tension. This yeah. is the one that the most I want an expansion on. Of all the ones that we've watched, this is the one where I wish I could get more. Like, I'm very interested in this creature. I'm very interested in the back. Like, you get enough to know that there's a backstory where, like, he's going and he's talking he's, to it. He's, and they, they've been they've been friends. It's been like his confidant. Now he. I think he like feels that need to like probably take the next step in his in his life, whatever whatever it is, he's going to change and he can't have this thing around him anymore. Oh, and I think it's a pretty interesting uh metaphor for trauma. Mm, oh, yeah, like definitely. I mean, I think there th there is a lot of actual metaphor in this one, which is amazing because it's mm -hmm. like two minutes long. But like I feel like in those two minutes, we get enough world building that I got a taste for what this could be. And it made me want to know, like, is this like some sort of tulpa that he created? Is this, like you said, just a manifestation of his trauma? Is he actually crazy? Is it a creature that'll move on? What happens when you reject it? What are the consequences of that? Like all that stuff, yeah. it leaves unresolved in a way that is very tantalizing and, and made me really 
like I, I was like, no, when the credits rolled so fast. Yeah. And that's that's yeah, kind like, of what is the relationship? Yeah. Yeah. It just yeah. Gives it you really just alludes to them having want. a relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Like I know a lot of times short films are like proof of concept or or like sizzle reel for something longer. This is something I wish that he would expand because I would love to more. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. I think that'd be fabulous. All right. Consensus. Would you recommend? Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is the one that scared me the most out of anything we've seen, genuinely. Yeah, I think this one gets under your skin. It's really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's a really good question. We need to re- remember at the end of the month to, to say which one scared us the most. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's far it. this one's winning for me. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. let's see. Maybe tomorrow we'll get even more freaked out. I don't know. Matilda, yeah, what tomorrow- are we watching manana? So tomorrow we are going to watch a Twitter suggestion from our buddy TCM Hooper um, called Kitchen Sink from 1989. You can find this on YouTube and it's directed by Allison McLean. So please check it out. Come back tomorrow. Let us know what you think. Um, We hope you enjoyed our review of The Lonesome Thing. It's a super quick one. Watch it. Let us know what you think in the comments below this post. And we will see you back here tomorrow. Bye. Thanks to everybody for listening. And thank you to my co-hosts. Our theme music for this episode is Apprehensive at Best by BizBaz Studio. 